In this video, we bring you a $4 Dollar Tree Shave. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today for what I hope will be a fun shave. And today, this is a extremely, this is an extremely low cost shave. Uh, all these items are from Dollar Tree for $1. One dollar assured razor and blades, one dollar brush. Let's go ahead and take that out of the packaging right now and throw it in the sink and let it soak. Normally I would use a uh, a cup or something to soak the brush in. And I can tell you right now, I might have mit, bit off more than I can chew. Look at that. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna show whatever happens, happens. Let's throw that in the sink. Normally I would not throw my entire brush in the sink, but since I don't have a cup or a bowl to soak it in because I'm limiting myself to these items. The brush concerns me, I'm not gonna lie. The razor, we've used before, I don't have any concerns about that. One dollar at the Dollar Tree. Uh, we also have this Artist Shave Kit, which was one dollar. And by the way, these items were sent to me by Jim. Thank you, Jim, because he saw my last, uh, what I called budget shave, and sent these items. So in this box we have, uh, whoops, I dropped something there. I think that was pre-shave oil. Uh, okay, here we have pre-shave oil. Here we have uh, unscented shaving cream, and what I dropped was the balm, which we'll use later. And now I just dropped the, dropped the cream too, so let me grab that. <laughs> All right, and we're back. We've collected our cream. We have our balm. We have the pre-shave oil, which I'm not gonna use because I don't like putting oils on my face, but these were two, a dollar, a dollar treat. And last but not least, we have a dollar aftershave. So $4 total. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I have concerns about the, uh, I have concerns about the brush. I don't have concerns about the razor because I've used it before. In fact, I'm gonna leave this razor in the packaging just, to, just to uh, keep. But this is an Assured razor, exact same razor. Uh, here are the Assured blades, which I have used before. And interestingly enough, I believe these come double wrap. So even on a cheapo blade, uh, double wrap there, quite thick on the wrapper. And let's get it out of the paper here. And if memory serves, there's no branding on that at all. And there is not. And so we'll just pop that into the razor. And I have a feeling the brush may fall apart on me. But I've used this razor, I don't know, probably five or six times uh, with no issues. So we shall hope <laughs> that uh, it goes okay today. I might have bitten off more than I can chew by going cheap. But, you know... Let's have fun. You know, you show the good, the bad, the ugly, and today could be ugly, but that's okay. Here is our shaving cream, so let's tear that off, and I don't know if that will come out. I'm gonna take my trusty knife here and make sure we can get that cream out, and I'm gonna use what they call nature's bowl, which is your hand, to try to make a lather in, but the brush may completely fall apart. We may end up having to, uh, we'll start with eh, maybe a little more than that. This says it's brush. Uh, you can use a brush or not. And so sometimes that alarms me too, but you know, here we go with nature's bowl. There we go, losing a bunch of hair right out of the gate. That is not a good sign. I would not be surprised if this brush completely falls apart on me, but let's see if we can make it work. Ooh, that is stiff. <laughs> but we're getting some lather. I don't expect this to be a great lather today. I expect to drop a lot of hair or fiber. I don't know if this is boar or a synthetic kind of it doesn't smell, but as you can see there, we are just <laughs> generating a, a lather. I'm just gonna dip my brush into the sink a little bit there. We'll try to make the best of this today. You can go too far in trying to uh, hit a very low budget. Remember, we used to call these budget shades, but someone accurately pointed out that budget can mean high budget, low budget. So today we'll just see what we can do here. And the cream's a little foamy, but honestly, it won't matter that much. If I get through this shave without this brush completely falling apart, I'll be happy. Again, dipping the brush in the sink there. Okay, so no fancy sprayers today. I'm gonna set that aside and just get some water out of the sink the old fashioned way. And uh, let's uh, let's see if we can... <laughs> that is so stiff. That is Brush Burn City right there, so I'm gonna make the lather in my hand and paint it on because that brush is stiff. It's like something you would scrub something with, but at least hasn't completely broken down and fallen apart on me. Woo wee. I may have to, uh, because I don't have any way to uh, keep this lather that's on my hand, I may have to 
revisit the cream each pass. <laughs> this brush is not good. I'm going to tell you that right now. The razor, I actually don't mind. It, it works pretty well. It doesn't um, bother me to use the uh, to use the the razor. The brush is is stiff, and so I know if I if I scrub my face with this, it's going to be red as all get out. So let's set the brush aside. And actually, let me rinse the hand there, or nature's bowl as I call it. <laughs> and again, we have no misters or anything today. Uh, what I'm going to do, because this is unscented is, let's bring a little Doug Bear to the game. And I'm just going to put a little bit in my hand. Just a little bit in my hand. Uh, right there. And get it on my brush and just bring a little scent to the party. Just a little scent. Since this is unscented, we're just going to make our own scent with the aftershave. That way we'll have at least a little scent to enjoy. And the aftershave just smells like about as you would expect, just a sort of powdery type barbershop scent. Actually not too bad considering this brush is, is terrible. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I have had pretty good success uh, with the razor and blades in the past. So we'll hopefully be able to nail this one today, but don't expect great things from the brush if you get it. Again, all these items, $1 each at the Dollar Tree here in the United States, and here's our razor. And this razor is fairly efficient for a twist to open model. A lot of twist to open razors aren't particularly efficient. This one is. This one you can feel some blade. And actually, I've uh, I've never been bothered by using it. Um, it shaves well. Will it last forever? I doubt it. I probably will fall apart someday, but hopefully not today. But uh, I actually don't mind the razor. And actually the level of efficiency this razor has, um, it's more efficient than, the, than especially the vintage uh, twist to open model. When we say twist to open, we mean you twist and the doors open. I remember when I used to use this razor, this guy used to troll and say I was somehow connected to the company that makes it and, and I was trying to sell cheap crap to make money. <laughs> and I was like, uh, no, I don't have any affiliation with the Dollar Tree. We do this for fun. In fact, my number one goal always in making these videos is to have fun. Uh, and the second goal is to advocate for the hobby. But primarily, I want to have fun and enjoy myself, <laughs> talk with you fine folks. And, and by the way, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you've never left a comment, Today is the day. Leave that comment below and let me know you're here. I really appreciate that. I try to respond to every comment. Even if it's a short, simple thank you, I want you to know that I appreciate your time. Yes, it takes a lot of time to work through the comments, but if I'm asking you to watch my videos, the least I can do is acknowledge your comment. And it takes a lot of time, but you know, that's part of the fun is interacting with you folks, I think. All right. Let's uh, add a little more aftershave. And again, we'll revisit the cream if we need to. I'm gonna add a little more aftershave here to my hand and just sort of work that in, try to, this lather is gonna be much more thin because there's not a soap, not a lot of cream in the brush. But again, we're not going for a show lather today. We're going for a functional shaving lather. And even if that is thin, it will, it will be okay. Smells okay, the uh, aftershave. Just smells like uh, what you would expect, say, if you get a CVS house brand um, aftershave. It's got that blue sort of powdery scent. And as you can see there, those uh, bristles, they are thick. Or you can sort of see the, the marks. <laughs> so I am not gonna scrub my face with this brush because that will be irritation city. And if something causes irritation or pain or a problem while shaving, don't do it. If it's a soap that's burning your face, don't do it. There's nothing to gain from, from pain when it comes to shaving, unlike sometimes exercise. I want to remind you folks that uh, we have our week five, 5K for the second time giveaway. So please, uh, I will uh, pop that up in one of the corners there for you. If you haven't seen that, please enter and, and let people know to enter the giveaways. I look forward to seeing you 
entering those and all you have to do is uh, follow the instructions on the on the video there and we leave that open uh, worldwide we don't want to exclude our inter international viewers because uh, there's a lot of you and I appreciate you I appreciate every single one of you that takes the time to watch these videos and those of you who take the time to comment and make suggestions and just generally have fun together. Thank you very much. And again, the Razor, um, I kind of like the Razor. Now, it, I don't think this is going to be a durable Razor. Let's make no mistake about it. This is not going to be a Razor that will be around in 50 years like the Gillette Twist to Open Razors. It will not stand the test of time. I have no doubts because I've already heard of people who uh, have used these and they've fell apart on them. But it's uh, efficient and for me has done a great job so far. And the blade is okay. I wouldn't say it's the smoothest blade that I've ever, ever tried, but it's doing okay. It's doing okay. By the way, we want to uh, extend our best wishes, hopes, prayers, and good vibes to uh, DK. Uh, who we mention on the channel from time to time. He and his wife both have the Rona, but they're doing okay. And so we, we will certainly keep you on our thoughts and prayers and hope you recover well and have no lasting um, effects from that. This Rona has really done a number on us here in the United States with now some 400 and some thousand people uh, died. Let's add a little more cream because we've pretty much exhausted whatever cream is left. And look, there's a giant hole in the middle of the... <laughs> that brush. Let's just go with a little more cream. Make a little more lather. This thing is so scrubby like. If you lather your face with this, you better have a tough face because, uh, I mean, if you scrub. And that's something I don't do. And a lot of people um, will make comments about, you should face lather. I don't want to scrub my face. I scrub my face back here in the shower. I'm not looking to scrub my face with, with a uh, shaving brush because I'm dragging the sharp steel across my face. Um, I've done this long enough to know how my face responds to certain things and scrubbing it with a very, very, um, see those hairs there with a very tough and coarse high back burn brush such as this was not a good idea. And I don't do things, um, that are likely to, to irritate me or cause problems. And if you do, you have to question, why are you doing that? <laughs> Or at least I do. But I'm glad the brush has not completely fallen apart on me. So, you know, that is good. Is this a show lather? Of course not, but it's not really intended to be. This was just to have fun. And I really like to mention Johan from Shave and Butcher. Um, when I do these uh, shaves, because <laughs> it's just funny, he doesn't have a lot of budget items. Uh, of this nature. So Johan, if you can top this, come on. And anybody else, but there are some rules. You must use the value of the items. Now you can't say that was given to me, so it was free. These were given to me, but I'm using the value of the items, $1 each. You must have a shaving brush. You must have a razor uh, made for shaving. You must have a shaving soap or cream made for shaving. You must have an aftershave and you must have a balm. $4 is what I came to here total. So. That's going to be hard to beat. But all of you out there, I invite you to take the challenge, if you will. You don't have to be tagged directly. Um, see if you can do an a extremely low-cost shave, just for fun. But don't put yourselves in any jeopardy. If it starts going badly and it's irritating your face, stop it. There's no, no need to press forward with it. But just for fun, you know. It's not all about the high-end stuff all the time. You can get a decent shave with very, very inexpensive gear like this. Is this my most enjoyable shave ever? No. Is it fun? Yeah, it's fun just to see if you can do it. You know, I like to challenge myself from time to time to, to do something different. And thank you, Jim, for sending these items. I had the Assured Razor and Blades, which Aaron sent to me from Canada. Um, but now, Jim put together a full set of $1 each items and honestly in terms of the shave no problem you know not as enjoyable that that's the that's really the thing that i think uh items that are pricier or better quality bring enjoyment fun you know however 
I do like doing these. <laughs> I find them to, uh, I find them to be fun. And this razor certainly, uh, I tell you what, it's, it's at least medium, if not into the, I don't know if I call it high aggression, but it's close. It's the far end of medium, at least. It's one of the more um, aggressive twist to open, non-adjustable razors I've ever used, to be honest. You'll feel the blade. Um, but it's not bad. It has worked well for me. I think this has been my fifth or sixth use of it. And honestly, it shaves fine. I don't think you can expect when you're using items um, of this cost to uh, to last very long. It, it's just, you know, it's cheap, let's be honest. There's inexpensive and there's cheap, and this is cheap. <laughs> and so there are times where you're using something cheap where you get what you pay for. You're not gonna expect much out of it, but inexpensive in my mind is a different thing. You can get some excellent inexpensive things that'll last you a long time and work very well. These products are in the cheap category. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. We'll use our aftershave and we'll put on a bomb today because I have it. I don't typically use them, but we'll do it. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back and we didn't even use a towel. We're, we're still dripping. We just rinsed our face and uh, we're gonna follow this up with the Assured aftershave. Again, every item, one dollar. So don't be bringing one of those items that says you bought it in 1932 for three cents. It has to be the value of these items today purchase value, not it was given to me. Uh, so let's get a little of this aftershave in our hands here and give it a splash. And then we'll follow up with a little bomb, powdery. Not what you would expect. Not super strong, just powdery. It's almost a little gritty, um, it feels like. So, but it's gonna do what it's supposed to do, which let's see what's in it. Do we have alcohol in here? Yeah, basically it's water, alcohol, castor oil, and then some fragrance. So about what you would expect, uh, just a little bit of alcohol and other stuff. And let's uh, let's crack into this bomb here and see how it treats us. There we go, it's unscented. So we'll use that today and close it out. And look, we were successful. I, I thought honestly that the, um, the, uh, the brush might completely fall apart on me if I'm being honest, but it did not. It did uh, lose a lot of hair or fiber. I'm not sure if that's, I'm thinking it might be synthetic. I'm not 100% sure. It's synthetic or bore, one of the two. It's got a giant <laughs> hole right there. It lost quite a few hairs, but it did stay together, $1. <laughs> Razor and blades, $1. And then we had our uh, shaving cream and balm, $1 or aftershave $1. So if you wanna do this uh, extremely low cost shave, please do it, but follow the rules. No no trying to get out of it, but saying this was given to me. You gotta calculate the cost of today, the fair market value. And it was $4 for me total, including bomb. Again, you must have, you must have a razor. You must have blade. You must have a shaving brush. You must have a shaving soap or cream. You must have an aftershave. You must have a bomb. $4, so that was great. Thank you, Jim. I really enjoyed this one. I hope to see you folks back here again tomorrow. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, your shave, do it your way, even if it's very inexpensive. God bless.